why do men cheat? Is largely a self-esteem issue. Now you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm over here, I'm chopping up bananas. Um, I got a chop of bananas for my son. So I'm gonna talk to you while I chop these up and we'll chop it up, all right? It's largely a self-esteem issue. A man who's willing to cheat on you is a man that doesn't truly love themselves. They truly don't think that they're worthy of love. So if this man eternally doesn't feel like he's worthy of love, then of course, in turn, he can't love you. He doesn't have any space for you emotionally. All right, so there's some emotional work that the man has to do. So when you're dating, make sure that this man can express himself. Make sure this man can tell you when he's sad, when he's mad, when he's happy. And if not, then make sure he's getting the help that he needs. Hope isn't lost, all right? Don't just run away if you feel like there's some potential there, but make sure that they're doing and getting the work, all right? You can't change the man in your life, all right? You're not gonna change him. So if he's not already getting the help, it may be worth. It may not be worth your time. You may need to 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 move on and allow that man to go and get the help that they need. And once they get the help that they need, then the relationship will probably be worth pursuing. But until that point, it's not worth it. It really isn't because this is a man who may have seen his mother struggle. Maybe he didn't get the love that he needed from his mother. Okay, and or he grew up with a single mother. Dad left. All right, dad left at a, at a very early age and because of that he's only seen his mother in compromising positions he's only seen his mother have to deal with negative situations all right so if that's the case this is a man who has to do some work all right they may have to go back and revisit childhood feelings revisit childhood emotions and work those things out with the professional before they can even get to you women it isn't you all right. It isn't you. We also live in a society where it's OK. It's OK for a man to have multiple women. It's OK for, for a man to to just discard women. See, the problem is we're, we look at women as being disposable. Women ain't disposable, y'all. But we're starting to see them as being disposable because in the music, in the culture, in our in, in our society, in our movies, the real men are being shown as men who 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 are the who are the players and have a plethora of options, a plethora of options. Now, we as men don't want don't don't want women to have a plethora of options. So why is it okay for us to have a plethora of options? That's not being a real man. It's not being a real man. It's not. It's not. You're being a punk. That's what you are. You're, 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 you're being a punk. I'm sorry, I got to say it for, for what it is. You're being a punk. But understand that you're getting punked by society. All right? You're getting punked by society because mainstream society wants you to be that way. Mainstream society doesn't want you to have a union with, with your girlfriend, soon to be future wife. This is about development. This is about growth. This is about love. This is about improving you and improving your relationships. There's more to say, but that's it. Think about it.